Hello everybody and welcome back to Mastering Avantra. My name is Alex and I am Avantra Support Engineer. Today I'll be walking you through creating roles in Avantra and assigning the corresponding permissions. Let's get started! Whenever we need to manage users, their roles, permissions, and etc., we go to the Administration tab and click User Management. There we have a list of all active users in our system. Let's take an example, my user, which is this one. If we have a lot of users to manage and we don't find our particular user, we can use this search field. And I found my users, and let's take this one as an example. Let's take a look at my user in terms of permissions. And to view that, we need to open my user. We can either right-click on it and click Open, or we can use this button here. We see numerous tabs here, and we should notice that whenever we create our user, it's almost worthless, because by default it has no permissions, it has no roles, the user can only log in Avantra UI and only can see its own profile, log out again, and that's it. To be able to do anything in Avantra UI, it should possess roles and permissions. And we are particularly interested in this membership tab. As we can see, at the moment my user possesses the following roles. The Super Administrator 1 and Administrator 1. Let's keep that in mind when checking the following. So when we need to assign roles to our user, we right-click on our user and click Assign Roles. In this window you will see the list of different roles you have in your system. And when you just install the application, you'll see also some inbuilt roles, which were created by default by our developers and these roles are administrator role, super administrator role, for example, customer default permissions. And these are created to help you initially when you just install application and need some basic roles. Remember, I've had two roles in my account, administrator and super administrator. And super administrator role is the one that is assigned to your user as soon as you install the application. And uh, one of the things is that we do not recommend to use this account for your daily businesses. And instead, it's recommended to create the administrator role. This one contains all the permissions available in Eventra. And uh, unlike super administrator role, it can be modified, deleted, you can add and remove permissions to that. So it's more like flexible. Obviously, you will need more roles than in built in Aventra. So, to create your own role, you will need to do the following. You will need to go to the administration, user management. We already have it open, but right now you go to roles. There you will see the list of roles available in your system. And if you need to create new role, you just click this new button and name your role. And it appears in the list of your role. You can see it here. Right now we should understand that this, this role is empty. It doesn't have any permissions. And the next part of our video is about assigning permissions to the corresponding role. The process of assigning permissions to the role is put straightforward, so let's cover it. We need to choose our role, open it, and switch to the Permissions tab, where you will see the list of all available permissions. You can expand this window so that the view will be full, and then all you need to do is choose what permissions you want to assign to the particular role. Whenever you're ready, you don't forget to apply to save the changes. We can see that permissions are updated. And let's choose our role and check it. Open. 
and we see that now our role possesses these permissions. What we need to do now, we need to assign this role with these permissions to our users. Now when we created this new role and assigned permissions to this, let's also assign this role to the particular user. To do that we go to the Users tab, we locate our user, we right-click on it, and we choose Assign Roles. Now we can see our role in this new window. We just, using this button, move it to the right, click OK, and we see this role is assigned to our user. And let's review my user. We can see that right now I also have one additional role besides Super Administrator Administrator, I also have this test role. We can choose it, we can click Open and see the set of permissions from here. What else we can do? We can choose our user and we can click this Permissions tab. Here you will see the list of all permissions and of all roles assigned to this particular user. We can see that I have three Super Administrator, Administrator and Test. Let's see what happens if we click on some of these roles. We can see that my test role possesses these permissions. Remember that we can also modify our role and adding and removing permissions from that. To do that we just tick or untick and choose new ones. We don't forget to apply to see the changes. And if we go to the roles and check our role again, go to permissions, we can see that the set of permissions is changed. This way you can modify your role adding and removing new permissions. And that mostly covers our topic. And that is pretty much it. In this video we've covered the basic concepts of creating and editing roles and permissions in Avantra UI. Whenever you need more information you can go to our website avantra.com and go to either resources where we can see master and Avantra videos or documentation also, you can access documentation directly at docs.aventra.com. Using our search field, you can find wherever you need. Thanks for watching and see you in next videos. Bye-bye.